So hi guys, Lou Beltran here, the IT veteran. In today's video, pag-uusapan naman natin ano yung five major fields sa IT industry today. So let's get started. So yung five major fields na to, two of these, sigurado ko alam nyo na to. Okay? Hardware and software. But the last three, I will be discussing this one kasi you really won't be... Uh, getting to know or touching this uh, last three fields unless na sa IT industry ka na at nagtatrabaho. Okay? So, let's break it down first. Let's start with number one, software. Okay? So, software is, kung ang field mo is software, you're basically uh, very knowledgeable in computer programming and you design primarily applications or mobile apps or websites. Okay? Marami, marami pa naman. Okay? Either you're a QA tester or... Um, uh, a software developer but really um ang, ang, ang specialty mo is more on uh, programming languages ay yun yung primary uh, specialty mo when you're leaning into the software side of things so that is uh, software now the second um field is hardware so hardware is this is yung field na typically um nahahawakan mo yung mga IT equipments that you are maintaining. So, dito pumapasok yung mga desktops, servers, routers and switches, firewalls, um, uh, and others. Okay? Marami pang iba. Marami pang um, IT technologies in terms of hardware ang mahahawakan mo dito. You're going to be primarily managing this equipment or deploying and installing these uh, types of equipments. Okay? So, hindi lang naman um, IT equipments yan. You can, you're, you're going to be into structured cabling din, um, uh, wireless, and other um, communication technologies. Yun yung uh, hardware side of things. Now, the last three, okay, is hindi mo to actually uh, malalaman unless you're uh, into uh, the IT industry itself or nagtatrabaho ka na or you're actually practicing in the IT industry already. And uh, this three, um, hindi siya masyadong known to uh, IT colleges and uh, universities kasi um, you really need to have experience in software and hardware for you to be able to reach the last three categories or fields. Okay? So, what's the third category? Uh, the third category is management. So, dito pumapasok yung pagmamanage mo na um, ng mga tao that, are, that, have, that have their own specialization. So, kunyari ako, I'm a hardware type of person. Okay? I'm a network engineer. But if I get promoted into the management position, okay, yung... I'm not actually the one uh, touching or managing the equipment already. I already have people under me that I have to manage and they will be the one to um, uh, use or, or maintain those uh, technologies or IT equipment. Okay? Ganon din sa software. I'm, kung, um, I'm uh, management in terms of uh, the software side of things or... Um, software manager, for example, I don't really do the coding already. Okay, I leave that to my staff. Then I have to drive them, okay, or manage them to perform, okay, and uh, reach yung mga target expectations nila. Ganon din sa software. Um, uh, actually, hardware. I mean, so I have to manage yung um hardware team ko. Okay? So, whether maka-server yung mga knowledge nila or um, desktops or uh, routing, um, security, I have to manage all of them para ma-reach nila yung target levels nila in terms of performance that the business requires me to drive. So, that's more into the management side of things already. So, hindi lang ito mga senior managers. It can reach up until uh, the vice presidents, or yung mga chief information officer, chief security officer, yan yung mga talagang high-level uh, management positions in terms of the IT industry. So that's number three, uh, management. Now let's go with number four. Number four is um, sales. Okay? So yung di mo to ina-expect. You might not ha have been expecting this field, pero... So, okay. may sales aspects din may sales aspect I mean ang pagiging isang IT 
Okay? So, hindi lang naman kasi, whenever you're a software uh, developer or a hardware uh, type of person, yung mga equipments na ginagamit ninyo or yung mga applications na dinedevelop ninyo, okay, you're developing it for uh, a certain use or purpose. Now, that purpose needs to be sold to your customers. And sino ang nagbebenta nun? The IT sales people. Okay? Now, ito mga IT sales people, they can come from a no IT background, pero magaling sila sa sales, or they, they came into the IT field already or has an IT field background, and they just uh, went into the sales as a part of the business. So, anong ginagawa sa IT sales? This is where we sell our solutions and uh, applications or equipments to our customers for them to use. Okay? And um, it involves really um, getting to know kung ano yung binibenta mo. Okay? If, if you're selling a software, you have to sell what is the benefit of your software to your customers or to your users. In terms of sa hardware naman, magkano yung overhead costs um, ng software, uh, ng hardware. Okay? Kasama dyan yung mga maintenance fees, uh, support fees, licenses. Yan, binibenta lahat yung mga yan eh. So, yung Microsoft, uh, for example, yung Microsoft uh, license ng laptop mo, that has to be sold to you when who is selling that one. IT sales people yan. Okay? So, um, IT sales is also the highest, okay? the highest paying IT, ka, uh, IT career in the IT industry. Okay? Ang common misconception kasi in terms of... Uh, the uh, IT industry is that ang pinaka mataas daw ang sweldo is yung mga software uh, developers. Pero in reality, that's not true. Okay? Kasi ang pinaka highest paid IT professionals are the sales people. The one who sells the solutions and the IT equipments to the customers. Bakit? Kasi may commission base yung mga yan. Eh. Okay? So, um, Bakit sila yung pinakamalalaki? Um, kasi hindi natin, ang, ang pinag-uusapan dito um, na mga solutions or mga pera, okay? yung cost ng mga IT equipments natin is not just in the hundreds of thousands. It's, it's more into the millions and sometimes hundreds of millions of pesos. And if you're working as an IT sales abroad, it's in terms of uh, hundreds or one million dollars. Okay? And Kung nakabenta ka na isang solution to a very large company, may commission charge ka dyan. So, for example, you sold a 1 million uh, peso uh, solution, for example, to the customer. Siyempre, may commission rate ka dyan. So, some, something, something at around uh, 5% to 10%, depende kung gano'ng kagaling at gano'ng kaka-senior level sa sales department ng IT uh, company ninyo. Okay, but typically, ganun ang uh, commission rates, um, 5 to 10%. So, kung nakabenta ka ng um, 100 million peso IT solution okay, to a certain customer or to a very large company, okay, times 10% mo yun, yun ang commission mo for that specific sale. Okay, so, yun, that's, that's number four. Um, sales, IT sales. And uh, number five naman, which is the last um, field ng pagiging isang IT or in the IT industry itself is consulting. Okay? So, bakit consulting? Consulting is more into um, kailangang magaling ka doon sa apat na aspects na tinuro ko sa inyo kanina. You're good at software, you're good at hardware, you're good at sales, and you're good at management. Okay? Ito yung four primary requisites for you to be able to consult. Um, consulting means you're, you're, you're sharing your expertise, your knowledge about a certain technology or certain types of technologies or number of technologies to your customers okay, for you to be able to give them um, the whole solution for their needs and their problem. So parang ito, yung, yung hotel na ginawa ko, um, I sold them the software side of things, um, yung POS, um, hotel reservation system, uh, uh, yung Wi-Fi system nila, hotspot. I also sold them um, the hardware side of things. Yung mga router switches, Wi-Fi access points, um, desktops, printers, okay, key cards, door locks. Then, um, in terms of management naman, how do you manage your team? Yung uh, mga tao under you for, you for them to be able to um, deploy the solution. 
Okay? Or you, you can also go with it on your own kung talagang uh, magaling ka uh, in terms of deploying yung solution mo. And um, really, you have to sell yung solution na to to the customer itself. So that's it, fellow IT engineers. That's the five major fields in the IT industry. Say, um, software, hardware, okay, sales, management, and consulting. Um, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be uh, putting the button below if you're watching this via YouTube. And if you like, uh, uh, if you're like watching this video in Facebook, then make sure you like and subscribe my page, uh, Lou Beltran, the IT veteran. Same then also sa, sa uh, YouTube channel ko. And I'm also going to be leaving you this free ebook. Okay? It's called IT Salary Negotiation Tips and Interview. Uh, uh, IT interview tips and salary negotiation tactics for IT professionals. Um, this ebook I'm giving for free. It basically contains lahat, um, not really lahat. Um, uh, ano yung mga common uh, questions na tinatanong during an IT interview? Okay, para ma-prepare ma 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 mo yung sarili mo. Okay, whether you're a fresh graduate or an IT professional already. Um, para ma-craft mo na sa, sa utak mo. Before you go into the interview, ano yung mga magandang isagot ko? Okay, to the interviewer itself. And um, at towards the end of that book, I'm also going to be sharing to you paano mag-salary uh, negotiation okay? para hindi ka paraten sa yung IT position. So, I'm going to be teaching you there yung mga tips and tricks ko on how to do salary negotiation uh, para makahirit ka ng konti. Uh, from the base salary na binibigay sa'yo on your contract. So, kunyari, ito yung, yung, yung magiging monthly salary mo Okay, you can actually um, negotiate more to increase it, uh, yung, yung salary mo. Okay? Kasi uh, a small bit goes a long way. Okay? Yung konting increase sa sweldo na yun goes a very long way. Pambayad mo ng, ng data plan mo, <laughs> or pambili mo ng bagong phone mo, or, 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 or bills mo sa bahay, uh, pambayad na internet, and so on and so forth. So that's it, fellow IT engineers, for this uh, video. And I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next lesson.